Either way, hello, hello, everybody. My brain has been trying to murder me. But either way, I'm going to try some more of the Final Fantasy 15. Oh, yes, yes, this. Obviously, this is ins insomnia. Huh? Yes. Yeah. It's been five billion years since I gave this a shot a while ago and obviously got to level 11 here. So it was like, eh, I'm going to give it another shot because I've been feeling the MMO itch. I was just like, hey, everybody really likes Final Fantasy 14. I should give that another shot. And after bashing off my brain from being an asshole, we have uh, returned to doing things here, giving it a shot, giving it an attempt. And we shall see what we do. Probably just a bunch of the side quests, because I like doing the side quests in this game, at least so far. I am only level 11 so far. I hear that a lot of people are like, ah, the early game is terrible. I don't care. All right, they just need to relearn the controls. All right. Need to go and just talk to the dude somewhere. Don't know where. Don't know where to go. That's the issue. Hello there, Kaz VA. Oh my gosh, your voice is amazing. Thank you. It is nice to have compliments once in a while. <laughs> I'm just trying to find where that is. Axe in the stone, because it's been five million years since I played this game. Let alone an MMORPG, so he's probably just downstairs. Probably. I'm already bad at reading maps in single-player games. But yeah, good. He's just down here. Yeah, because my brain was just like, I'm in an MMO mood. Let's try an MMO. I have did one stream of this five million years ago and am only just now uploading to my archive YouTube. Don't at me. Anyway, bro in Bahar. Why is there an H in your name? Let us do questing. The Axe Master told me you'd be on your way. Me name's Brunbar. Good it is to meet a new marauder. Now we axe wielders build strength and control by splitting boulders. That's right, our traditional method involves smashing a rock with your axe. But you can't use just any old swing. You need to hit the rock just so. Rotkeim, a fellow marauder, is waiting just outside the Zephyr Gate, by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll tell you how it's done. So basically, this is Axe Samurai. Axe Samurai. Because that's kind of what a samurai would do with, like, bamboo shoots. And I just need to learn how to get out of here. <laughs> wow, with an E, says Kaz VA. I'm just happy I did a voice like that on my first try. <laughs> that's what I'm happy about. Yeah, but how do I get out of here? Map, I guess I just turn around. It is a door. It's an automatic door. Made of wood. Ah, there's some metal. Mostly wood. That was perfect. Hey, thank you very much. Glad that I could give a performance. Out here. Now I just need to keep going. And then we can get over there to the axe in the stone. Like, <laughs> I know that a lot of people... Uh, or at least so I've heard, have kind of had issues with the slow pace of Final Fantasy XIV's, like, beginning part before Heaven Sward. Also, why is it Heaven Sward? I think I'm on the wrong area. Yes, I think I'm on the wrong, uh, elevation. Do I need to go down? Limza Lamenza. The Lower Decks. I've never actually played this game before. The only reason that I'm doing the free trial, which the free trial is great. It has a ton of content to it. The only issue is I'm a little scared that uh, Yeti will try to force me. Ah, dang it. Sadly. 
My expression buttons aren't working for my little avatar. Profound sadness. Let's see. But yeah, the free trial was apparently really good. That's why I decided to give it a big shot. As well as, like, I'm just in an MMO mood. I'm in an MMO mood. This is free for, like, up to level 50. And, like, one or two expansions. So, hey, why not? Fate discovered nearby. It's been a long time since I've done these, so I forget even what a fate is. What is the fate? Taking it to the streams. Progress zero. Oh, that's a big mo that's a big monster. Oh wait, what? It actually says you are s six or more levels above the recommended level. Oh, then it went away. Level sink. I don't care. But I might as well try and bash some ladybugs because it's been a bit. So why not get a bit of the one two one two into this game again? Would be hilarious if that leveled me up. I can hardly tell. Him, I can hardly read my own UI because I haven't played this game. <laughs> I think I played this game earlier this year, but my brain. It already tried to murder me earlier today. All right, Rotgeim. Rotgeim? I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Greetings, lass. Ready to split some stone, are ye? I have three nice hard rocks for you to build up a sweat on. Don't try nothing fancy now. Just hit him with a good, solid, heavy swing. Alright. Heavy swing is just my normal. Let's go smack some rocks. And not that weird animal monster. Yeah, probably avoid the giant monstrosities of monstrosityness. Where's the other rock? Yeah, there's been a line that way. And there's another player. It's like, what is that weird gnome? Oh, it's a player. That's even creepier. Oh, that would be in normal games. Apparently, the Final Fantasy XIV player base are really nice. That's the way to do it, lass. Now you've got the idea, why don't you have a whack at a little harder with a heavy swing of yours? Hold nothing back. All right. I don't... Well, there's a monster here. That looks odd. I shall... Sure, I'll level sink. And I'll... Smack it a bit. Whoop. Why not? Oh, they're all in the river. Apparently somebody's leg has been bitten by the monsters in the river. Gotta use that positioning. Positionals! I didn't watch all that Joe... Uh, Joe Cat's crap guide to Final Fantasy for nothing. I am intelligent. I will do this all on my own. I am the fisherman. So this is that Final Fantasy <laughs> fishing mini game that everybody was talking about. Whoop. Ah, I got hit because I was in too long. I didn't expect you to join in in the fighting, little monstrosity of doom. Die. I don't understand the monthly subscription and the 30-day free game thingy after you buy it. Basically, b buying the main game is to basically like, ah, you bought the game. Here, have a, a free month to go with it so that it's not like, oh, so basically so people won't go like, oh, you sell the game up front, but then also a have to buy subscription on top of it. That's a little weird. It's basically just there to streamline the initial buying process. I should probably also take a look at these. It's not that, like, important, but I should probably use them. Because why not? Here's a fate. Let's do the fate. I am not... Also, it's like paying for a month but labeled as free. That 
kind of. In a way, I suppose. And then it runs away, because the fate is complete. I am the victor. Get that out of the way. Level sync, yes. It's just, hey, you want to do a thing? You can do a thing. Alright, now back to smacking rocks. I'm just gonna see how much Final Fantasy XIV grabs me again. And I've also been thinking of trying out Lost Ark, since that's like an actual, like, super duper free to play, as far as I am aware. Ah, I can see you're a natural. My head still ring of the Santa Kraken boulders. Take yourself back to Axemaster Wurnzoen and let him know you're ready for something harder. And then you disappear into the knot fog. Now you just need to remember the way. Let's see. Investigate Seasoning Grotto. Is it nearby? I don't think it is. Where am I? Oh, it is over there. And uh, sure, let's go do that. I'm in the area. I am in the area, so why not? A game I noticed that's similar to this is Guild Wars 2. Funnily enough, that just came to Steam. Like, despite the fact that Guild Wars 2 has been existing for a long, 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 long time, and it's, oh, hey, uh, we're coming to Steam for whatever reason, was also a thing. But it also took a long, 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 long time for them to come to Steam. Might give it a shot, might not. I don't even know. Is this the right way? I assume, because it is. Check out the Investigate Seas Hung Grotto. Grotto. I shall go to the stone monument, I guess. Yeah, I recently downloaded it because I saw it on Steam. I should probably do that my... Uh, oh, well, to respond to that in a moment. You are about to enter an instance battle. Instant battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to ready the information displayed in an active help window before answering the Call of Duty. Special instances. You are about to enter a special instance. These are battles reserved for important battles which feature unique environmental conditions or powerful boss enemies. Instant objectives can be confirmed uh, on the duty list. For the uh, duration of the battle, you will be unable to pass beyond the red line displayed on the map. You will automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives have been met. Alrighty. Yeah, definitely need to check it out. Probably after I give a good few shots at Lost Ark, because I downloaded that and I was like, oh, Dear God, that is 70 gigabytes. I'm gonna give that a shot. I've just been taking it. I'm just taking a break from playing single player games too much. Because I've gotten near the end of Digimon Survive. I'll need to finish that at some point, but I'm just again, taking a bit of a break. Stars. I am the morning sky. I am born of the sea, and there shall I die. Interesting to have actual. Oh, Thus reads a character. The requiem carved into yonder stone. I think this is the first time I've run into a voice acted character. Such Hello, well friend. Hopefully, the in which the citizens of Limsa, Luminsa live their lives. It is both a litany against misfortune for those out on the waves and a prayer. That the souls of those who perish on land might find their way back to the sea. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 is 63 gigabytes. That seems to be the... <laughs> it's an MMO! It has lots of things, apparently! And plus, there are also, like, other MMOs that are, like, slated to come out-ish, soon-ish. That I'm like, oh, that might be interesting, like Throne in Liberty. Like I said, I'm just in an MMO mood, so I was like, I'm gonna try a bunch, because... Uh, the last MMO that I, like, super-duper super played through, and even then, it wasn't the all that much. It was just a small chunk in the grand scheme of things. were, like, Maple Story and All Odds Online five million years ago. This one, the last time I played this, was, only like, 5,000 years ago. Ah, you are the adventurer I've seen around Summerford Farms. You have been stalking me, apparently. I thought myself on the trail of the kidnappers, but it would seem I have missed my mark. 
Is that a kidnapper? Oh, great. A hideous monstrosity. My favorite. Yeah, that's just barreling down on us and you're taking this super easy. Nor is it a coincidence that the two of us should come here in search of those responsible for the disappearances only to be attacked. Definitely. But who stands to benefit from the keeping of this secret? I was gonna make a joke, but my brain couldn't f focus on a single monster character, so I guess Skeletor. Let's go for Skeletor. Yeah, cat people! Oh, such thoughts must wait. Let us attend to the task at hand, unpleasant though it be. I mean, he's just standing there. He's letting us get our conversation out. He seems amicable. Well, time for murder. I like that I did the kind of, uh... Right, giant monstrosity. I think I messed up my rotation. Just remember the classic Joe Cat guide. Always be casting. I'll get rid of the bogeys. They can't damage me too much. Why is the mage the the tank right now? What the heck is that? I have no idea. These are monstrosities of grand degree. Ah, there's another one. Oh no, there's multiple. My favorite. Once again, uh, bogeys. Oh, these are much easier to kill. Yay, the monstrosities are dead. Huzzah! I have murdered the monsters. The jiggly zombie monsters. That look like flesh rocks. Why do you have a Sheikah, like, I diddly D on your shoulder? Crystal. Pick up the crystal. Pick it up. You know, it won't hurt you. You're a main character. I'm the main character. It is me. Plus, it's a shiny thing and I'm a cat. It works out. It's canon. It's lore. Crystal, indeed. Oh, boy. Memory crystals. What nightmare shall behold me today? Alchemy? That looks like alchemy. So where's the truth? <laughs> Don't tell me that this is like, ah, this is one of the seven crystals that shall save the world and it was being carried by a flesh rock. Think. I've heard those words before within a specific context. I will go over it more if I remember. Oh no, I think this is like just directly referencing the song. Like, I, I mean, technically it is referencing the song. Those were part of the lyrics, but it might just literally be re referencing that event. Yeah, that emote seems about correct. But yeah, hear, think, feel. Crystal Never mind. Bearer. Oh, I become one of the crystal bearers. I become important. Is that the crystal that I bear? I am Hydaelyn. All made one. Last time I heard that kind of thing, that was a, a villain. I, I think I got like a level up notification noise <laughs> in this cutscene. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in 
instead. Again, it's protagonist time! For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. I'm the protagonist cat. I'll deliver everyone and everything, including catnip. I'll become the drug protagonist. The Walter White as a Final Fantasy protagonist. So I must claim all of the crystals. Why does that look like a giant crystal spaceship? Oh no, it's a mountain! And just great music there. Great music. Jesse, we have to go find all the crystals. Hey, that person was aping my drip. That other guy, not so much. Are they important too? We're gonna be like Superman. We'll fly around this crystal in reverse time. Which will then have us annihilated by Bahamut, but, you know, it's the... It's just how things go. Go now, my child, and shine thy light on all creation. So we've basically just become an apostle of a giant crystal mountain. Awake again? Are you know, I made the joke about Walter White, but... Considering what happened to her, she'd probably be like, like, man, that other cat lady just did the meth and just passed right out, overdose. Aha. The poor creature's fury was kindled with cruel forethought. So it was premeditated madness. Seriously, this thing is so See weird looking. Blade? I found it in the gooboo's back. The gooboo. So what you're saying... Now, considering that thing's designed, my brain kind of jumps to Digimon. Are we going to have to fight Devimon, who's, instead of using black gears, is using enragement knives? I have seen knives of this kind before. They are most commonly used for the cutting of rope. So, we live in Limsa. How many, like, ship people... Have to deal with rope on a daily basis. That doesn't really nail things down. I don't it think. It would appear our culprits are seafaring men of some persuasion. Piratical being the most probable. Again, it's like... That doesn't really nail things down too much. In any event, you seem much recovered from your sudden... Affliction. Mystical light shard, crystal, drugs. Pick your favorite. I confess, I was rather taken aback when you collapsed at the very moment of our victory. Mayhap a surfeit of ether? I don't know what a surfeit is, but you are the one that just left me there. <laughs> you were too busy looking over the gooboo than caring about me. I got I saw a drug vision. I beg your pardon. A towering crystal. I'm sure I don't... You're one of those drug addicts. Well, well. This has been a day of unexpected revelations. Are you going to take me to a guild? I must continue my investigation. In the meantime, I suggest you deliver this knife to your patron, along with a warning concerning the pirate's probable involvement in this murky business. I don't even know your name. Can I have your name? White mage lady. The days ahead promise little rest, I fear. It is an MMO. With like three expansions that come to mind. Again, under the light of the crystal. I'll have no idea how, when that will be because I don't know your name. I just do not know their name. So, great. Well...
with that out of the way, I guess that doubly works, I guess. <laughs> Currently trying to sign up. Yeah, I think it took a little bit for me to sign up for the diddly D. So that one's done. Where are that? Just over there. That's Mount Teller's shovel is also over there. I'll have to go to Lower La Noskia for kobolds. And apparently Journey to the Mist. Or no. No, it's just at that place. Well, well I guess uh, we'll go do the stuff. So, I'll obtain a shovel, I suppose, and turn in the thing. Because yeah, that is only, like, the one downside of, like, oh, so many RPGs, like, MMORPGs. A lot of them are like, oh, this is cool, and you want to try them. But there's so many MMORPGs. Also, it doesn't help that I kind of have... Like, on the one hand, it would be neat to play through this with somebody that I know. Like, if somebody else is like, oh, yeah. That would be a neat mutual experience, but at the same time... Like, I just had bad experience with, uh... Let's see. It's on the other side. But I had bad experience of, like, playing Warframe, like, a long, long time ago. A friend was like, hey, play Warframe with us. And then I basically just got dragged through the game. And didn't really get to do much for myself. So now playing game with other people. Is just, like, tainted in my mind. Well, here's a... Person. Beer drags la Noskian oranges are ripe and ready for picking. Sure. Bah! I can't even rely on those rotten pirates to pick these ripe oranges. Yet if I leave them a day longer, they'll like to fall from the boughs. Mayhap you can grab a few for me. You're not afraid of a pesky hornet or two, are you? Warframe is super long, I feel. Almost a free Destiny 2 game. I did play it a bit... It was like, uh, again, like, some of the missions felt kind of off to do alone, so... <laughs> Might have to give it another shot sometime, but I do not know. Icy Wings, right glad I am to see you safely returned. My lads were all grabbing about, gabbing about here in what sounded like all seven hells breaking loose near the grotto, and I feared I'd sent you into your death. If you were in the middle of that commotion, I hope it yielded something of interest. I'd hate to think you'd risk your life for naught. I have a giant... Well, it's not really giant, but I have a knife. It is a knife of doom. Hmm. A blade pulled from the back of a creature you slew at the cave, eh? Aye, I'd agree that such a knife would be part of any seafaring man's kit. I'm starting to think that these ruffians are pirates. Come to lure my farmhands back to a life of plunder. Chances are they didn't take kindly to your appearance on that doorstep and set a maddened gobu on you. Aye, the pirates have been adding to their numbers of late. I'd best warn the lads and lasses in my employ to be on guard against their schemes. Hmm, you met someone else at the grotto, a woman with a strange contraption. Ah, Yishtola. She's been in Limsa Lominza for a good while now. Her studies of the Aether often bring her out to Summerford, so her presence at the grotto is hardly unusual. She's an odd-looking lass, I grant you, but she's not the kind to associate with kidnappers. You may take the you may take my word for that. What trust should be lacking is in those yeomen of mine who have yet to wholly relinquish their pirate pasts. The temptation to return to the free and easy life of a buccaneer may prove too strong to resist. You have my thanks, Icy Wings. If it weren't for the effort of stalwart adventurers like yourself, this farm would be in far worse state than it is. 
Just you keep on lending your talents to those in need, eh? Help bring Limsa the brighter future she deserves. So I either want a potion or ether. I, well, I guess I'm gonna just go for potion. You're so good at these voices. Thank you very much. I, I need to, like, audition for more voice acting. But it's just like, I feel cursed. Where whenever I, like, try to go and do stuff, oftentimes, it just feels like, every single time I, like, audition for voice acting things on like casting call i'm like yeah i'm super good and then i seem to go up against like like basically to put into perspective i feel like oh yeah i guess maybe i'm like a an a tier voice actor i suppose then all the s tier voice actors come out of nowhere to audition against me it's just what it feels like I don't know what to do if the cumbersome rock. Ah, I need to do use the shear there. Alright, need to use the shovel. It didn't look like a shovel in the menu. But I suppose that's just one thing you need to do with voice acting is just like, ah, you can't win them all. Just keep going, going, going. But then a part of me is just like, and then the one time that I like sit down and like, audition for ten things, all ten of them I'll get, and I'm like, ah, shit, now my schedule is doomed. Random unintentional flexing. I know how it feels. It's just like, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Oh, I missed a rock, did I? But it just comes with... For years and years and years, everyone says, your voices are great. And then I'm like, yay, people think my voices are great. And then I get no roles. And it just annihilates my soul. The sheer agony. You're great, but not good enough. Hurts. <laughs> I'd, say you, I'd say you're solid S tier. Hopefully someday I'll be able to live up to such... Praises and labelings. Ah! No! Not the bug! Not the bug man! Be gone, flower wisp! You've heard of wasps. Now get ready for the wisps! It's like the uh, competing gang to the wasps. The wisps. Wasps with lisps. Buzz, buzz, motherfucker. Be gone, wasp. Oh no, it's Wally Wesp. Uh, did it, yep, deliver the oranges. I need to deliver the oranges. Yeah. Some goals that I just need to lay down is, like, actually have a coherent stream schedule. And, like, have a variety of things to stream through. Uh, I guess it's fitting with a role. I mean, you can be the best VO person ever, but if your voice can't fit a specific audition, you can't do anything about it. That's also true. It also comes down to what the... Uh, bibbidi-bop head person of the auditioning themselves are looking for in a role. Ah, ripe to perfection. How sweet it is. If the lackadaisical lot of retired pirates come down with scurvy, it serve them right. It just goes to show you can't teach an old sea dog new tricks. You'd think the Adm Admiral himself would know that. Oh, and there's another quest that I can finish up somewhere. Probably in front of the shovel place. Ah. But it also doesn't help that I'm just like, I want to do five billion things. 
and all the five billion things fight each other in their mind. And then my brain fights the five billion things within itself, being like, it's a waste of time. Stop. And it's just like, nah, nah. pain and misery. It's certainly proven you're not one to let obstacles stand in your path. If only those supposedly pioneering pirates were, ha were half as industrious as you. Expanding borders is all well and good, but the Admiral ought to know how rugged frontiers can't be settled by layabouts. All right. What other things do you need, Berdrig? Restore equilibrium by having local fauna called. Nanaskin orange nectar is sweet, but rest assured it's paid in for foreign in sweat. We have to pollinate each orange by hand because of the blasted pucks that prey on the nearby bees. If we could only eradicate some five puck hatchlings, it would save us more having to do nature's work. Well, time for genocide! Dude, my cat is the uh, most uncomfortable position just to get my attention. <laughs> that is... <f> <laughs> Just cats. I mean, look at me in the bottom corner there. Cats. Stale Warren is up in arms as, he's, as his hired hands are nowhere to be found. Shall I go and beat them up? Matt sea sloth savoring in his lot, never around when there's work to be done. I'd sooner hire you for the sake of getting things done, but then the rapscallions would never learn. Round them up and let them know that Stalwurn would like a word. And don't take no for an answer. Are they down there? They're probably down there. I wonder what that hunter scholar is. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> you are the coolest cat I've ever met. Well, my name is Icy Wings. An adventure on the trail of an elite mark, I'll wager. What do you do here? Oh, a little bit of everything, but what I know best are hunting and, uh, and the Reimdel Codex. You come to the Allied Seals, and s you, so you stay for the thrill, them's the rewards of the hunt. Go on, then. I know you've got questions. Ask me about them, Elite Marks. You got your danger rank straight, don't you? Goes B.A.S. Remember it like bastard. I'd wait on trying to find a rank S, though, if I was you. Tell me about Elite Marks B. The Ravening Queen of Ladybug Skog's Fru's natural veracity for pests has taken an unnatural turn. Not content with emptying the fields of pollen carriers and soil tillers, the adamantine shelled Skog's Fru has adopted a new diet consisting of chocobos and their riders. Interesting. So I guess that's like, hey, field bosses, if you want to go hunt them down. Ah, uh, heck, good one. That had me thinking. Always nice to get people thinking. I like to think that I'm at least mildly clever. Ah, maybe I just need to talk to this guy. No work ethic in these washed up lackeys. Too busy living in the past to make a difference in the present. I'd hope they put a pirate mu muscle to good use out in the fields, but I fail to reckon on their loafing pirate bones. I need to find Shemwen. No, that's... I thought the chocobo marker was a person, but it isn't. Hmm. I think I'm looking in the wrong place for these loafing about slacking yeomen. Ah, there's a slacking yeoman. Work? Ha! Can't work when my hands are full lifting this mug, you know. I'd wager my last gill you'd never guess what I'm drinking. I have no idea. Swill water. Well, you're right about the swill part. I reckon it might be worth a day of doing Stalwurn's chores if it'll afford me a way taste a proper grog. Hey, I got one dude to go. Stop slacking, be yeoman. I think it'd be easy to find because they're just like oh, I suppose maybe he's just behind the wall 
Nope. Where could that darn slacking yeoman be? Hmm. Really got to look around because I, I, the only place it could really be is beyond the wall, I'd say. This way. Yep. I, I looked the wrong diddly damn way. I'm a fool. Child man, get to work. How am I supposed to work on an empty stomach? Go on, have a guess of what I had for breakfast. Ash tuna. What? God, how'd you know? It's my breath, ain't it? It probably smells as wooden as the food tasted. But I know why you're here. Ah, just soon get some real food in me. But I ain't one to reject a summons from the captain. Sudden action music. Nice violin for adventuring. Axes were made for splitting skulls, not stumps. You know what I did in my sailing days? Skirmishing? You bet your bosom I did, lass. Aye, those were the days. I reckon I'll have to be satisfied taking my axe to the trees. One thing I also... Maybe that's one thing I should do. Maybe I should try... After stream, like, try out that there. I think it is, like, take picture of your character mode that surely this game has it. And try to draw my Final Fantasy XIV character here as drawing practice. Because I need to draw more. Bash my brain against all the things I want to do and not procrastinate. I am Severin. You're the old man's errand girl now. Tell my dear old captain not to wet his britches. I'll be along. Oh, and just so we're clear, I don't care for landlubbers. Go find the chocobo you're rowed in on and ride on out. I have a feeling I'm going to have to kick that guy's axe. Are you in the river? My dude. Ah, oh, he's on the other side of the river. Even more cowardly. Then I'll go slay some pucks. After dealing with this man here. Aylmer. Where's your glue? So Stelburn sent you. And what do you reckon I say to that? Work is for the weak and witless. Damn right! Didn't get where I am by taking guff from any glorified gardeners. But I suppose I could see what he wants to get him off my back. I don't understand these here yeomen. I do not understand it. I also just realized that there is a good, like, uh, coordinate system there. Neat. Well, off we go to destroy the local creatures to death make them all cry in an alternate world we are the monsters my baby slam time to kill some pucks stop eating the bees they're important for the oranges Be gone, Satan! To hell with you! Here, little puck hatchlings. Here you are to die. Here to murder you. All your annihilation shall come at my axe. Righty then. 
Now we must return. Simple backs and forts because it's the early game of Final Fantasy XIV. You know, my brain, for a moment there, was like, what if we came in one time and everybody was massacred by rioting pirates? And I'm like, this is the early game that would never happen. That would be too interesting. The buzz on the wind tells me you've done the deed. The only pests plaguing me, Orchard, are those woeful whelps out of water. If only you could rid me of the parasitic pirates as you did those pesky pucks. You continue to impress, lass. All but Severin are accounted for. It's no fault of yours, he squirmed out. I've let that worm wriggle through my fingers more time than I can count. But rest assured, the next time I see him, I'll put him squarely in the dirt, where all such worms belong. Huzzah. I even leveled up. Huzzah. So who you need me to kill? Who need me to murder? That's kind of funny. He's like, you're good with the armor you have, we'll get this uh, money thing. Stalwern worries his sack of oranges will not reach the Lothargren checkpoint as planned. Pains me to say it, but all the gill in the world can't buy loyalty. There are some like you who could be trusted, but then there are others. Until now, I've had no choice but to rely on that charlatan Severin. Even though I am fully aware he's been doing shading deals behind my back. More than once I've heard tell of improper trading with goblins. I wouldn't be the least surprised if that were happening right now. Not a bell ago, a sack of oranges vanished as did Severin. I want you to find and confront the bastard for me, Icy Wings. I'm sure there's a wrongdoing afoot, so be sure to doubt anything that comes out of his mouth. I like that doubt was in its own special font. Welcome back, Casvier. I just went and murdered some of the local population of pucks. Little gargoyle-looking things. Oh, that's good. It's around the same place I need to drop off another quest anyway. Hmm. Off we go. Should probably walk around the road to avoid doom. Trouble Tiller. Oh, just a random area event. Twelve, take me if it ain't a real live venture. I could use some help if it's help for your proffering. You see, I'm tasked tilling the orchards to see, so that the roots of these here trees might breathe better. Like, breathe better like. Usually brain is like, ah, oh, like is between sentences. But it seems each and every step I take is straight into a damn molehill. I've already gone and, lam uh, and lamed my left leg, and can I afford to lame me right? So who's thinking if I could get myself a true venture to whack the bloody moles one good? What do you say? Level six. Sorry, my dude. And besides, I don't... Yeah, I think it's a... F Is it a fate? No, that's a fate. But they kind of have similar diddly deeds. Meh. Fine, I shall do it. Even though I am literally twice that level, it's gonna force me down. My <laughs> Your dog was lying, both left and right. Alright, Mora B. Mole, you shall die. Although it would be hilarious if I could do this at my max level. You just come on through, annihilate all the moles. How, how dare you? You must die. Get him! Get the moles! Get the moles, we shall. Well, that's what those are. It's I'm uh, taking aggro. Oh, I even got a thing. Low blow. So 
this is just me learning how to take Imnity. Imnity me, my dear enemies. <laughs> so many moles. Indeed. I'm just learning to be a proper tank. Taking all the enmity. I went and whacked all those moles. Now that was a thing of beauty. Now, let's go back to confronting Sreven. The bastard man who must die. Go along the road. I'm not gonna do the fate, I'm just walking through. I've already done two fates! Yeah, but we can go there and then presumably do another one that I think is supposed to be down there that it's just a turn in maybe? I don't know. Am I going to a castle? No. There's the... He's just over here. Ooh, he must die. <laughs> Whoa, tank. Indeed. Especially because I'm a cat. Cat. All right, Severin. Bloody hells, I'm off the street without a paddle! Uh, Severin. Severin? My dude, Severin. I don't know what to do with this. Confront Severin and cast... Oh, doubt. I need to do doubt. Where is just the emotes? Emotes, emotes, emotes. Social, I assume. Emotes. I need general doubt. I could just do it in text chat, probably. I cast doubt on you. Probably need to click him and then do it. There we go. What's this now? Stair weren't sent here for the oranges. Uh, so the old bugger hadn't known all this time. Uh, what does it matter anyway? Listen, you're one of those goody-goody adventurer types, right? Go rescue me mates from those double-dealing goblins. They're just over yonder, over by the bonfire. I do find that amusing that sometimes the game is just like, Hey, do an emote. Which is hilarious to me sometimes. Time to murder. Not the goblin mugger who drops bombs. Very rude. Oh, hey, it's the other three guys that uh, I talked to. If you hadn't come, my dodo would have been cooked. Um, cooked dodo. So what was that about not being able to use axes for c crushing skulls? Severin sent you. Ha! The way he flew out of here, I was sure he'd sold us down the river. But I thought there was a fourth one. I owe you. Would have gotten away myself if not for Severin shoving me aside. So he's not going to have any mates to help him. Heck, indeed. And the giant Gubu is not afraid. You saved me, mates, and for that I owe you. Suppose I should be ashamed I couldn't clean up my own mess. But a pirate knows no shame. I have no qualms about going back on my word. I'm only giving you this sack because I like the cut of your jib. Take it to all scene and send him my regards. And then it's a bomb. 
true sunny delight. So let's see, cuz. Yeah, that's all the way back in Limsa. Deliver the report. So yeah, that is in the same area, but it could be... Hmm, is it like a... No, it does seem like, oh, you have to go into a, a dungeon or something. Its own sub-area, perhaps. And then Journey to the Mist is like through the area. Alright. I'll go ahead and do that since I'm in the... Oh, no, it's right there. Hmm. But you, you're just another fate. I've done two fates! What have we here? Delivery from Summerfoot Farms in a scheduled? Ha! <laughs> That's a first time for everything. Easy, sunny delight. Well, look at that. Not a single one missing either. About the only things not here are those bagmen, and I don't miss them one bit. Here's Stelwin's payment in full. With you, I can trust it'll reach him. Lol. They say a messenger through the mines arrives faster than the crow flies from the stead. It is good to see you. It has been like six months since I last played this game, so I've had this questing chart time. That is entirely incorrect. I hadn't realized the extent of Kobold Menace, but Mogrim's ma missive has opened my eyes. Should we fail to bolster our patrols of La Naski and Lowlands now, we stand to lose the region altogether. I have not forgotten when the kobolds sought to seize the West. Twould be best those were no like twould be best those there know their former nemesis has resurrected. Though Stale One no doubt remains vigilant, I would ask you to visit Summerford Farms and remind him that sleeping dogs may not be content to lie. Ostfear hopes to assure the safety of wayfarers at the Lothagran checkpoint by ridding the area of dangerous denizens. More and more travelers pass through these gates bloodied and bruised each day. They tell me the Yazans harry them at the Rogue. It pains me to do nothing, but we need every man we have just to hold the garrison. You would do us all a great service were you to thin the Yazan population for us. If you could clear out, say, three of their nests, we'd all be in your debt. So let's take a look. Two fates, there's the Yazin, Yazin, Yazin. And then some extra quests back there, seems. Ah, and a quest over there, out to dry! On the bridge. No, not bridge, there's like a little side passage. I'll definitely have to check that out. Doesn't seem to be anything else, so we'll go annihilate some beings. Oh, I... Oh yeah, that's just a toggleable. Me fool. Suppose I should probably drop that. Because I am not... Ah, Yazan Nest. Oh yeah, that's Nightmare. Die, Arzen Feeder. Hey, I'm gonna go have fun with the stream. Thank you very much, Cars, uh, Cars VA. And have a good time doing whatever it is you do in the future. I'm not joining the fate, I'm doing a quest! There's a vast difference to your game. There's a vast bloody difference. You entered the area. Would you like to do a fake? No! I don't think I would! So I don't, what even are these? Sea spiders? I know, they're yards and feeders, but their nightmare fuel is what they are. Alright, let's see. I don't have to do anything for character, do I? Because I think you just level up and things happen. 
I don't think that I can change to anything. I'm stuck as a marauder. I don't even know what D-O-W-D-O-M is. Ah. Let's see. Let me look at my inventory. Do I even have anything? Uh, I apparently have dark matter. How? I don't know. And I apparently have shards. What are these? Interesting. I do not understand these systems. I just clicked on my diddly D. I'm like, hey, what's this? Ah, armory chest. <laughs> Leather eye patch. With that. Alright, things, things, things. Let us begin heading away. Just need to get the flow down with this game. Get a feel for the flow. Also, just realized my health is really, really low, all things considered. I wish I could see, like, what its numerical health state is. But let's go back to the orange farm, turn in some quests and stuff, and then we'll also have to go run back there and turn in the beat up the frickin' water spider monstrosities that are taller than me! Absolutely horrific. Still don't know how to do the uh, second toolbar. Thing. Apparently somebody is beating up a dummy. Good for them. Maybe they're making a YouTube video. Look at my combo! I saved the people and the oranges. Uh, Cobalt's Ahoy, I guess. Our sphere's prudence befits his post. The Watchman's always seen threats far over the horizon, which is all well and good, but the Sahagin, swarming at our gates, demand my immediate attention before ugly heads that haven't reared themselves in recent memory. Still, I know better than to disregard the bidding of the Yellow Jackets. All right. Obviously that. Back in one piece, that's a relief. How did you fare, Icy Wings? Sack of gill for you. Ah, uh, this is what I was aiming for. Looks to be all I was owed, all right? Though I'd be telling you false if I claimed I had not held out more hope for Severin. I was even willing to overlook the skimming off the top, but to sell us all short in favor of those godforsaken goblins. <sighs> you do well to mind yourself around that two-gill cheat. If he'd leave his own mates for dead, there's no telling what he'd do to you. And then? Ah, I have like a full set. That's the wrong way, my friend. Look at this man. This poor, poor man. Gurkant seeks fertile soil to improve the yields of his newly plowed fields. Blast! At this rate, the crops will never be ready for the harvest. If only we had black loam. Just a bit could send our stock soaring. I'll bet Rotwinda knows where you might find some. Perhaps you might pay her a visit in the orchard. You, you look like a protagonist. Menial task ahoy! High potions are in short supply at Tiller's Rest, and Connemar hopes to remedy that. If you're headed to Tiller's Rest, I have a favor to ask of you. The pirates have been away from sea for too long, and their broken hearts turned to blood so bloodshed for solace. A full supply of medicine lasts barely a week. If you could buy a high potion and take it up to Wedilof, you may well save some lives. That's the first I've heard of. Alright, Proud Cure. 
And I guess I could loop down there. <laughs> this is just me, like, doing quests. And I'm like, I shall do all the quests. Why not? It's quests. Quests to do! Apparently, there are people attacking. That Gurkhan's got a head of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any black loam. But if you dare to pitch in, uh, pitch some for the cook pot, then be my guest. Just mind you don't get trampled upon by the Orochs that dwell there. Once you've uh, three bushels worth, take the black loam to Pefrewal at Tiller's Rest. He'll know what to do with it. Interesting. I shall save the yellow jackets. We must save the yellow jackets. They just keep ignoring me. Cool that they kind of get their own area of effect as well. Yeah, just why not? It would be kind of hilarious if, like, I'm actually going to help the raiders. Pay the toll. Pay the toll. Heck of all the things. There's just so many fates in this world. Alright, let's see. It's on the other side. Me dumb. Good, I can jump over the railing. Like a true parkour master! A parkour master! I'm plum out of potions. Any sorry suffering knocking on my door may as well be knocking on Thals. All I can offer him is a prayer. I have one high potion. You can have it. Were I God's fearing man, I'd say you're heaven sent. After the dust settles from the next pirate brawl, some sorry soul will owe you his only lousy life. I pity the four fish out of water. At first, I thought the fights were just to kill time, but now I believe some truly wish it death. There's naught that can be done about that. We can't make them want to live. All we can do is hope they learn to love the land. I know that I heard your name. Prefwal. So yeah, now head down there. And uh, pick up out to dry since I... Oh, and low maintenance. Low maintenance this away. When it's just orange. I think some, sometimes my brain just kind of mixes in the fates with the orange for some reason. This is what happens when you don't play our uh, MMORPGs all that much. Big thump thump. Yeah, I think these are... We'll come right at you. Enemies. Oh, fine. I shall annihilate you. I shall annihilate you all. I am unafraid. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna hit me. Need to get into the habit of dodging those. Apparently I got a hunting log upgrade. Neat. Gather up the black loam. Please don't... I specifically asked you not to do that! You big, ugly monstrosity! Be gone! And then specifically, take it back. But first... Oh, fine, I'll kill you if you really want to die. If you truly long for it. Then we'll head, pick up this here, out to dry. Quest, run back up, turn thing in. Darn, I think I'm on the wrong level. I have to keep going down. Keep going down and down. Ooh, pretty lights and a mega crab. Well, this area is scary. But there is a quest down here. Wood de Halvaka. A Skylift operator is looking for someone to assist uh, with her megalo crab woes. Ah, uh, for the love of, uh, for the love of limb lion, not again! The leather's ripped to bloody shreds. No, there's not a rye with me britches, you cheeky sod. It's the megalo crabs. They've been at the balloon envelopes. I left out to dry on the rocks. Those hellspawn snippers think they've found a squid or something and set to nibbling. Less balloons in the air means less cargo getting lifted, and that don't sit well with me. You're looking for a quick job. How about you crack a few shells before you head off on your way? If you could put down five or so of the buggers, that'll do you right for now. Well. And apparently there's a killer wisp. Definitely want to not generate enmity. Wisp this. Wisp that. Time to kill Megalo Crab. Be gone. Nah, eh, this one's a little heavy. <laughs> Let's see if I can handle one beyond my level. And I even hunted a Megala Crab. I didn't want to join a fate. I just wanted to kill. Shirin Sharon has been uh, sharing his share of luckless passerbys since before the calamity. So apparently this is kind of like a boss one. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Maybe I can take him though. I thought it was a dude. I should have read the full thing. I just saw a crab and I'm like, yeah, I'll go kill the crab.
So yeah, I think I can survive this. Soul of this fate area boss that I attacked by accident because it looked like a giant crab. It just looked like a giant crab. How was I supposed to know it was a big bad? Hilariously, he's not even a higher level than some of the actual Megala crabs. Which is kind of hilarious to me. I'm not scared of you, Megalo Crab Man. I accidentally finished a fate. I just wanted to kill a crab. Did he count as a Megala crab? I don't think he did. Would be hilarious if he did. You remember to use your free damage buttons. They're free damage. Remember to push your free damage buttons. They're free damage. You ever just accidentally kill a boss? Not in like the big, big way. Just kind of came across the boss and it's too much trouble to run away. You take care of them snippers. I haven't got a super big one too. Good bloody riddance. Nice work there, lass. Still it won't be long for a new crew of crabs comes sliding in to claim that territory. And all our loads just keep getting heavier and heavier with all the rebuilding going on. If I don't want to be buried under a mountain of crates, I best think of a more lasting solution to these snipper problem. No, that's not the way at all. So hey, at least I had an interesting accidentally run into a boss. <laughs> Just imagine if you were like, I don't know, playing uh, kind of an extreme, fl not... My brain wanted to say flanderized example, but that's incorrect. But just imagine if you were playing like that Star Wars MMORPG. I played it some. Who knows, maybe I should stream that someday too. Ha ha ha. Stream all the MMORPGs. Finish none of them. But, yeah. What level is that? Level 8? The once gentle Aurox. Oh, nope. I already went and beat up some of you. I leave. But yeah, like imagine if you were playing that Star Wars MMORPG. I think it's just Old Republic. Because you're like, oh, people know the Knights of the Old Republic games from Bioware. And then they're like, kind of like that, but kind of not. Again, maybe I should actually give it a shot. Ah, that's a level 17. Fear the level 17. But just imagine if you were just running about, killing like... Yeah, it wouldn't be Stormtroopers, because... It's frickin' thousands of years before the movies, but then you just come across a time-displaced Vader. That'd be kind of hilarious. Darth Vader appears thousands of years in the past. What the fuck is going on? Uh, even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. Well, I have non-desolate dirt. Bitter, but a bit of this black loam ought to change all that. I haven't seen any in ages. Gathering black loam's not a for the weak of will, nor the weak of stomach, eh? <laughs> oh, don't tell me Gurkant and Ron don't neglect to mention where the black loaf comes from. Well, surely you figured it out from your own for um, the cloyan stench. It comes from the Orochi's lair of all places. <clears throat> well, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that all of your effort have brought us to Black Loam, and we can expect a bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. So I can either have Leather Wristbands, which increases strength and dexterity. Obviously, I'm going for strength and dexterity, because I'm currently a strength and dexterity dude. Dudette. Shedat. No, not inventory. Hardly look at my inventory. Give me my armory chest. Oh, 
Ah, then I can look over here, too. Equip. Equip. I need to actually look at these. So I'm currently wearing a profile. Let's see. I am currently wearing... Oh, there's condition for items. That's worrying. I did not know that. Fear has gripped me. And I'm definitely going to keep my weathered ring over that. Because I think that all that does is strength. This one's much better. And here's another quest straight from you. I was about to be on my way. I'm going to be stuck here this entire stream. That's a lot. Stolen farm tools recovered. Confounded pirates! They know nothing of tilling, only killing! Stealing our shovels to melt and fortune axes of all things! They're biting the hand that feeds them, the mangy mongrels! I'd love to teach those curs a lesson in obedience myself if I hadn't sworn to Stalwin that I wouldn't fight no more! So I need you to bring back our farm tools and make sure those dogs reap what they've sown! Yeah, I'm gonna go kill some pirates? Cool! I'm gonna go kill some pirates! Neat. Free damage buttons. I blocked. gonna annihilate all of you. I haven't killed the captain. Because he was just a dude. Well, good for you. I killed enough of you to get stolen stuff back, so now I leave you alone. To mourn your dead. Is that a carbuncle? Frickin' crate of oranges. I wonder what those sea dogs will try and steal when there's no harvest. Ah, uh, probably blood. Ah, uh, good to see the tools back in inservable condition. Which will be more than we can say of Severin when we get our hands on him. The wretch likely had a rule in the theft. Spy them meeting the pirates in secret, I did. I couldn't care less if the wastrel won't work, but when he consorts of the cut purses that take our tools away, he's crossed a line. Still we're not to know what sort of scallywag he's dealing with. Take word to take word to him, would ya? Interesting. Very interesting. It just happened upon me, so why not? Gone, warp rat. You spawn, you die. I was thinking that we had to destroy the crates, but no, we're defending them. 
random fate. Fate's just like, hey. Randomness happens. Neat. Hilarious. So yeah, there's just lots and lots and lots. Well, back we go. Finally back to the orange farm. And then we can head back out. I'm just here doing quests. I think one person recommends, like, oh, you should probably skip some side quests. Nah. Uh, considering that you can level down to do, like, quest stuff, I don't... Uh, just go ahead and do it all. Do it all. Do everything. Do every everything. The all every. Be the one that is all. You know what? The thought just uh, came to mind. What the hell would it look like? To, uh, would somebody look like if they had like completed everything in this game? Pirates making off with our tools. Pefrawal did well not to let them uh, take matters into his own hands. Last thing I need is blood on my crops. But I'll be damned if Severin thinks he can take us for fools. His treachery won't go unpunished. So I can go for a Marauder War. Get some physical damage up. Then there's a Arcane, Bronze Knife. I'll, I'll, take, I'll do the smart thing. I'll get myself a hammer. It's a double-bladed axe. Neat, isn't it? Oh, freaking another quest. I... <laughs> Go into my inventory, start walking away. Oh, there's an icon. I've come to expect a great deal from you, lass. And you've never once let me down. Yet what I'd ask of you now goes beyond aught I've asked before. Would you hear my plea all the same? Stelwin has reasons to believe that Severin is up to no good. Something must be done. Murder? I'm down for murder. I am always down for murder for good purposes. It eases my mind to have your ear. You're no doubt familiar with that scoundrel Severin by now. Well, the scheme and scapegrace is at it again. Since that letter came for him, he's been skulking about in that manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed, I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me this is different. It ain't exactly damning. But when I last heard, had words with him, he didn't look so much defiant as hunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you might uh, hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. Sure thing, sir. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end. As for how to find him, I'd try asking Grenwida at the Aetherite. She was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was hated. So it's just a completion-ish to the Severin is a jackass questline. My favorite kind of quest line. Will he be redeemed or will he die? There's just an Azure de Groon over here. Fear him. Nothing passes through those gates it escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rabble set out for Woad Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing about drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky salt said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it was that had pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure to cut them a cuff around the ear for me, will ya? Yeah, that's not far at all. I keep me- I think this is the same frickin' thing that happened when I was going to, like, return the info there. I just keep going back and forth, back and forth. And then I come here and then there's lots going on. Ah, oh, there is a repairs service. Neat. There's someone running in the distance. They're probably up to no good. 
But now for some reason my brain went to Weird Al Yankovic's parody of Michael Jackson's bad fat. I don't know why. Not the Mandragora! The poor children! They're being murdered by that random fiend! Ah. Oh, is it like a dungeon? Or like a separate place? Because it is uh, pointing down. So I just need to take some stairs down. You know, for a moment there, I instinctively wanted to save. I've played too many, like, single-player games. Aylmer! Where's your glue? Of all the dirty, deceitful, downright dastardly deeds that slippery bastards done! Claiming to take the lads out for a drink or to lead us straight into a bloody trap! It don't get no lower than that. Of course, I've learned to stay a step ahead of all Severance. I was ready, but the others weren't so lucky. You've got to go help them! Severin, why are you a jackass? Oh, this is kind of a dungeon. Luckily, I have a better axe to split their ass with. I'm coming for you. I guess I could kill, like, the water sprites along the way. Why not? They're not real. Water sprites aren't real. There's no such thing as Coca-Cola's water sprite. I aid you. Come back to life. My axe may as well have been a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better, or the sorry bastards in there are done for. Guess he basically was just admitting, yeah, I'm basically done. Me, I'm gone. My, my axe was worthless. Severin might have gotten us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give his life for us. I'd sooner bow to a fish back than be the in that kin-knifing bastard's debt. To arms! Proceed. <laughs> Hilarious. Level sync is in play. Oh no, one level down. A true knave. You betray even yourself, Severin. Uh. We were prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provided us with suitable replacements. That was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betray the Serpent Reavers twice. You will not do so a third time. He looks like bootleg Kratos. Cowering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that is a funky little smile you got there, dude. Man worthless though it be, we shall take it. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I might smite mine enemies! What the hell did you get yourself into, Severin? Golem time! Golem dime. Duty commenced. You are strong, but you are not strong enough to withstand this. It is a... Oh, shnikes. I did not expect to see a radius like that. Impossible! Never has the golem been sorely tested! 
Yo, come out and die. That was easier than the giant uh, crab. That golem could be vanquished. That the golem. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. I see you. Oh no, he's gone. It's Tuxedo Mask! Literally. I have done everything, but you didn't do anything, leaves. Oh, hey, it's you. Ah, the snake slithered away. I am only glad that he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. You have a twig. Oh no, I have a headache. She has a twig, I have a headache. It balances out. I didn't know this world had TV. Those pirates do not belong to any of the known Lam uh, Lamenzin factions. Whom then do they serve? The Beast Tribe? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent surge in Sahagin and Kobold activity. Something is afoot. The question is what? Why, am I typing into our memories? Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Twelve help us if that should prove so. Limza would be hard-pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must find ne I must needs find evidence. What is with this fantasy television? The seas continue to rise. With the lesser moon continues to fall. And ilm by ilm, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. It is as Lusoy... Louis... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Louis foretold. Louis, Louis. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundary between the material and the ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of Sh Charlian ring more true. Never did I dream that I would possess the means to see Aether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlian seem commonplace. Um... Here, for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today, the Maelstrom officially makes the Great Hole in the Sea its training ground. Join in the celebrations. That pole, that flower is poisoned! That is, that just reminds me of Sam Fisher. We found her. Fantasy Sam Fisher. Wait, a disturbance in the etheric flow. But whence does it emanate? Sea Song Grotto, perhaps? So I just saw the backstory of why she's here. Hilarious. I am the mind reader. I am the mind traveler. My quest is man's destiny. What have we here? Can you walk? So was I just standing there? Coked out my mind on memory? Tis I, regrettably, no, he eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. You collapsed from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered? I collapsed from your memories! You poisoned me with your mind! Severin here has appraised me of all that transpired. His account shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem, of all things. A golem is a mindless automaton, inert save for when commanded to otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing, so arcane are its workings. But then these tattooed wretches are no common pirates. 
They are the minions of the Sahagin. As to their purpose, well, I suppose I shall get to the bottom of it. No idea where I got suppose in that sentence. But first I must escort Severin back to his place of employment. I dare say Stalwin will be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word to, uh, to him of your preservation. But I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Uh, pray pay the man a visit. Ah, he told me of you. But perhaps chance he did not tell you of me. My name is Yistola. He told me your name. I am a naturalist of sorts, surveying the Aether in the hope that it might offer some clue as to our predicament. I said I owed you my life, but that don't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. Tis a debt I can never repay, but I'll not make things worse by running away. Take me to Summerford Farms, and I'll face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem... Forgive me. Mayhap we shall have a chance to speak again when I have mish marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross, farewell. This is a nice mini arc. I could see that being in like an, an anime. Like a full on anime. So yeah, rip support to Ostfear. I still need to journey to the mists, since that is far, far away. So, yeah. We'll speak to Starwin, report to Ostfear, journey to the mist. Hippity hey. But, yeah, again, you know what I just realized? It's kind of odd that there hasn't been, like, a Final Fantasy XIV anime. Then again, there hasn't been that many animes on Final Fantasy in general. The only one that really sticks out isn't typically anime. It was, uh, what's its name? The, uh, Advent Children for Final Fantasy VII. But at the same time, that's frickin' Final Fantasy VII. It's frickin' anime video. I do wonder. I suppose maybe I could just move them up here to make them easier to click away from all the non-combat things. No idea how to hotkey them with the C. Diddly diddly dee. But yeah, I would be down for like a Final Fantasy fourteen anime. They would probably cut down the orange arc. To, like, two episodes. But Sovereign deserves more. Sovereign? Severin. This is not Mass Effect. <laughs> now I'm imagining a Final Fantasy game that played like Mass Effect. <laughs> Severin's standing. <laughs> like, it's like his lost son. Lo, I knew you'd return. You stole a delivered Severin a bit ago. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back too, a lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that, that and the rest. I was once a serpent reaver. A thrall to the Sahagin, seven hails. Reavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not but the fishbacks flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We got a code, see, but the Reavers never, the Reza, Reavers have never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law-abiding lamentants. I'd only just taken my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sahagin masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home, Summerford Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long round here, and word soon spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the Reavers offered me a way out instead. My freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I wasn't bloody thinking. Too busy soiling myself. My, but you got there in the end, didn't you? 
When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear them talk of how you stood up to the Reavers at the last, of how you tried to save your life to, uh, give your life to save theirs. Be that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that I, I know that. I do. That's why I'm doing, going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. Hmm. You'll hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides you back here someday. There will always be a place for you at Summerford Farms, lad. And I'll always be in your debt, Stalewind. Poor boy. I owe you a debt too, Neon. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving the men of me farm. If I could ask one more favor of you, it'd be this. Tell Badron what's happened from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know who the Yellow Jackets will listen to. Well, I reckon I've asked all I can possibly ask of you. Safe travels, lass. And then... All quests did go that away, except for Report to Ostphere and Journey to the Mist. Oh boy. That Land Before Time movie that I barely remember. I really should binge watch the Land Before Time movies at some point. I enjoy the Land Before Time movies. The last one, like, not last one, but like, the furthest one along in the timeline of creation... Wonky, I know, but the basically the one that fits that, the latest one that was created that I watched, was uh, Journey, uh, Journey again to Big Water or whatever it is, with the weird sea dolphin dinosaur mole, Rrr, mole. but higher pitched, Rrr, mole. had that kind of trilling to his voice. We must adventure all over there to the Nut Castle. No, not the Nut Castle. It's my worst fiend. Yeah, it's the carbuncle dude that we defended oranges with earlier. We shall go closer. Do the mission. Not really do the mission. Turn it in, really. And then go to the mist. Because why not? Because there isn't really anything else except for this and then journey to the mist. Ah, so you did the... Uh, so you did for the... That's... I don't know, this sentence is weird to me. Ah, so you did for the Vilekin. Every pass or through owes you a debt of the gratitude. Lathargren is a vital stronghold. One of the Maelstrom would defend themselves had they the means. The fleet is spread too thin, which is why the Yellow Jackets have been called in. But our numbers are hardly inexhaustible. And your help goes a long way towards preserving the peace. Welp, off to the mist I go. Off to the mist I go. Off to the mist I go. No preference. Because mainly I didn't know there was one that I could choose. I think I actually, yeah, came through here to do a bunch of missions before. I need to make it to the mist. The mist. Very far away, the mist. Make it all the way. Yeah, if this place seems familiar. I think I did quests around here the last time that I streamed this. Need to go around it. 
to eventually get to the proper road. So we can... Oh! I think I know why I never went this way. Uh, rumor has it that plots within the mist are to be auctioned off. That's worthless to me, because I can't even buy a house as a free-to-play, I'm fairly certain. Lol, I am a fool. So let's see. Which one is closest? Probably that. Then we go there. I don't care about the fate. Here I was thinking that things were smart. I'm not smart. But there is a quest down there. Bridge to Fool. Okay, there's a bunch of frickin' quests down here. Okay. Note to self. We'll come back down here to do all those quests after we turn them in, in fact. Yeah, that works. We'll head down there, pass on by, go to the upper decks and finagle our way to turn in all our quests and return. Yes. I just didn't realize there were this many goddamn quests over here. And there's a dungeon. I wonder if the game will be like, hey, do the dungeon. That might be interesting. But I'm unsure, because... Maybe I'll look and see if the dungeon can be done with AI partners, because I think I read that that could be done. Eh, it just feels like it would be quicker that way for me. I do not play MMORPGs to make friends, mainly because I am a silent individual within when I play them. There is a reason why I'm like, I am going to diddly dee do the, like, uh, emote command from down here rather than actually do it properly. Why type it when you can go through menus? You know you're playing an MMO right if you use menus rather than the chat box. Enter in that... W like, surely there has to be an MMO that's purely just pre-decided phrases. That would be amusing. Why would they even have a level for the yellow jacket there? This isn't like... Horde versus Alliance in World of Warcraft, where you can go and murder people. The Upper Decks. They're horrible. They're terrible. They're where you go for cannibalism. I wonder why that's red. Well, let's go see why it is red. Is there a... Oh yeah, I think the... Did I just ignore this, or what? Sound a hammer and bring you from the, uh, in from the street, did it, lass? It's well that you found, uh, find the din inviting, for the Armourer's Guild is now a place for the quiet reverie. If the clang or a metal strutting mu uh, striking metal, a metal striking metal, duh, brain is terrible. His music to your ears, mayhap you found uh, the spirit of a shipwright. I have the mind to join our guild. Take it from me, lass. But then, what's the? Oh. So, so you want to be armor? Let's see. Let's see. I wish I could uh, bring up my mini map. There's no greater joy than working a shapeless lump of iron to a shining breastplate with your own hands. What say you then? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me quickly use the Steam overlay to search. See what will this lock me out of things? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I've never gotten this deep into a diddly d before. Yeah, here it is. What's the difference between an armor and a blacksmith? Blacksmiths mainly focus on the creation of weaponry and, more importantly, the refinement of raw materials into workable material, but both armors and blacksmiths can forge ore, gathered by miners, into ingots. Both jobs will often need these ingots to craft their goods, but will have to resort to the uh, other means to acquire the raw metal, usually leveling a miner themselves. Uh, or pain on the market board. Blacksmiths create fist weapons for pugilists and monks, swords for paladins, spears for dragoons, and weaponry for newer classes. There's, that's not the limit of their abilities. I kind of hate the Steam overlay browser because it often breaks for me. Right, now I basically... <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. The Steam overlay just seems to break so much. It's like, oh, you want to do this? Fuck you. I just don't get it. So apparently the overall answer is just level them together. Level all of the these kind of jobs together. Dang it. I just wanted to get... Why would it activate the game and not the goddamn overlay that was still on? Skip ahead. Sure. Uh, not that I take... I don't think you're ready. We can't be taking on initiates that lack inner steel to stick with their dis uh, discipline for more than a bell or two. Not in trouble times like these. We need people, blah, blah, blah. Before you can take another discipline, you must first complete the 10 quests of your starting class. Hmm. I guess starting class or starting... Yeah, because I think that there's a difference between discipline and class. Yeah, classes and discipline. I do not have a discipline. Understood. Wish I could jump over. Sadness. But now I very much under know. I have to complete more quests. Kind of odd that it's like, you can do it whenever. And it's there bugging you. Like, hey. Very interesting that the the answers song is playing in the background. Because, in fact, I think I never finished that thought. That think, feel, something was part of the song. That song that was playing. Hey, my dude, I forget what voice I gave you. Bloody hells, life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Ah, uh, but you needn't worry yourself over young Severin. The yellow jacket says hands out the punishments is a good mite of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon he'd be a willing to communicate the l uh, commute the lot sentence from hanging to kill all in. Kindly gent that he is. I'm only jesting with you. I'll see he's treated fair. Now that sounds to me like you've done everything old still weren't asked to you. And more justifying me generous finder's fee in the process. Much obliged, lass. As for our reward, well, she's a lonely lady, this drone in Winch of mine. Ah, do you fancy keeping her company for a spell with a free room and board? Venturing's a trying business, after all. Them and them as don't rest their bones every now and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly as much fun when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There'll always be a free bed for you, so make use of it. 
in rooms now available. Not that you'll have much time for lying around. What with all the leaves, uh, leaves, leaves. Yeah, be you'll be doing. Ah, uh, didn't I mention I'm putting your name down for leaves? Our guild draws all manner of clients, offering all manner of odd jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk will pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just to, just give to Mokri a shout whenever you feel like making a few extra gil. She'll always have some task f or other for yet to do. Guild levs now available. Oh, and it's all above board, in case you're wondering. We're careful to stay on the Admiral's right side in here. Unlike some pirates I could mention, I tell you, if it turns out they are, uh, they add us, uh, they... If it turns out they add ought to do the, if them kidnappings, there'll be seven else to pay. A proper bleeding reckoning. Man, well, that's what Limsa needs, though. On rough seas, sometimes you have to rock the boat to ride it. But we'll have m time for such talk when you're all well and rested. Till then, enjoy the winch's hospitality. <laughs> Happiness. You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Neat. Ah. That's odd. It went from checkmark to diddly dee. Well, let's go to the Marauder's Gelda. Why don't I? Just need to keep track of all these quests. Wait, I could just do that. Me dumb. So you want to be a culinarian? Wish I could. Can't. I think. Greetings, friend, and welcome to the Seventh Sage purveyors of finest spices from the East. All of our products are guaranteed obtained through a completely legal means. Oh, and you do not seek spices but employment. Well, then let us speak of how you might be of service to our organization. Our misery returned from a latest voyage bearing exotic spices never before seen in Eorzea. I have prepared two samplers, each of which I would have you deliver to certain individuals. The first is Gennade, whom you will find at the Coral Tower. The second is for Master Lingsaf, the head chef of the Bismarck. And do make certain the right person gets the right set. Go now and return here once you have accomplished this task. Probably... Wait, Reeve. Don't tell me you're part of the Reavers. Have I activated this? I think I've activated this. I've activated this. As the training loosen your muscles and focus your mind, Neon, an urgent request for help has arrived from the Red Rooster State, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of megalocrabs has unwittingly elected itself the next test of your prowess. As this is your first hour eating on official marauder duty, you shall be accompanied by a veteran conjurer by the name of Sulkweeb. She awaits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake. May devastation follow in your wake. Oh, grenade. Welcome to the headquarters of the Yellow Jackets, the key... Of peace and limbs lamenza. Is there aught to, uh, uh, is there aught I can assist you with? A sample of spice courtesy of the seventh sage, you say? Hmm, there is no mistake. This is fire sand and the kind used by, uh, by the garrisons besides. Quite intriguing. Very well, we will consider placing an order. Oh, and you thought that, uh, that you had brought me spice? I see you're not familiar with Carvalianisms. For the sake of convenience, he uses the word spice to refer to literally anything he has procured on the high seas. L lest you worry, the man hasn't engaged in any activity that is considered piracy. Far from it. Think of him as a traitor, a heavily armed one, who represents lemons and interests in eastern lands. And now I need to go down for the Axe and Stone quest to turn in. 
Yeah, I should definitely slot in an MMO to play once a week for my streams. Could prove uh, relaxing. Oh, this is completely the wrong quest. Hi, Neon. I know who you are. My brother often has me escort his fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose Wernzone uh, Wern expects me to give you the details then. Very well. It seems the farmers need us to clear out a mega megalocrab nest near the Morning Widow in Lower La, La Nasia. I shall trust you to find your own way there. Just don't forget your axe. I guess technically that was the right quest. I thought there was going to be another quest. <laughs> I'm a fool. I need to keep this up more often. This is like a way to keep track of any potential quests. But yeah, and the... I forgot. Either I didn't know or I forgot that I couldn't do that. That one quest. Now we're into the part where I need to find... Uh, is it over here that I find the way to give the spice? Or is it more? I don't know. I could have gone in through the front door. A new sample of the Seventh Sage? Alright, let's have a whiff of it then. Mm, ain't smelled nothing like it before. The notice came with it says it's a root that grows in Othard. Last I heard, Othard was under Imperial rule. How oh, the seven elves did Carvalion manage to get hold of this? Any road, I reckon I can cook us some, uh, somewhat fresh and new with it. Thanks for the delivery, friend. Uh, yeah, I can just do this, probably, yes. Maneuvering is my worst thing ever. I'm terrible at it. I am the fool. Welcome back. It would seem both samples were rather well received, and this is no small part due to our affable courier. Tis unfortunate, but notoriety accumulated over the course of years does not fade overnight. There are many still who are hesitant to do business with savage pirates. Yet the old days of piracy have passed, given way to a new wave of opportunity. My crew and I have decided to embrace this wave. With the Admiral's blessing, we engage in a form of trade with Garlean ships. Everything we do, you may rest assured, is within the law. And that's it. Lol. Quests about. Actually, there is. Elduise, Elduise. So, close that. Open up again. There's Sky High. So, we'll go Sky High and then Elduise, Elduise, that level one quest that apparently I've done. And there's another one over there, too. Levies of Swift Perch. Hmm. Or maybe I should go down one. Uh, but I'm sure I could just grab it and have it in my back pocket. So McCree is responsible for assigning guild levs to the Drowning Winch and is offering to give an introduction to the world of levy quests. Greetings, Neon. Batteron has most uh, been most effusive in his praise for your accomplishments. Have you considered putting your abilities to use for the Adventurer's Guild by undertaking a guild levy or two? Guild levies are the means by which we document requests for assistance from the citizenry prior to signing... About assigning them to adventurers possessed of necessary skills. From battlecraft levies that required extermination of monsters to tradecraft levies that ask for a creation of goods, the tasks we term levy quests are many and varied in their nature. Should your interest be piqued, I suggest you make your way to Swift Perch and speak to Sw That is just not a name. He will be happy to set your feet on the path to complete your first levy quest. Batteron, the proprietor of the Drowning Winch, has a suggestion to put you on the road towards new adventures. Adia Fernion, rested and ready for expand your horizons? I didn't do that. Well, then I have a, I have an idea where you might try the next. Have you heard of Skylift out in the middle of Loch Noskia? If you have ever visited Wode Whisper Canyon, then you must have uh, been up and down the thing at least once. 
It's the bleeding scaffolding attached to the descent. The big bleeding scaffolding. You have likely seen the lads and lasses out there use it to all cargo up the cliff face. Hard labor that in I hear that they could use the enterprise and soul to pick up the odd jobs. What no other bugger has time to deal with. Track down the head of the operation. Bloke by the name of Workrit. And he'll... And he'll be sure to put you to work on a task or two. We'll head down so we can do the Eldoes. Eldoes. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, that is the Bulwark Hall. Take me to the Bulwark Hall. Maneuvering the world is more difficult than the quests. Ain't that just a hilarious thing? All right. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Bloody thing said it was down here. Where is it? Oh, seriously, where is it? I'm not sure if I just... <laughs> I have no idea where this quest is, uh, where it came from. It just came out of nowhere. And all these quests that I presume that I... Yeah, that's what that is. My brain finally clicked it. It's like, why do these ones have a bibbidi bob? It's like, oh, because you can't access them yet. Dumbass. They have a key on it. Granted, they should probably be a lock. But still, I probably should have picked up on it. Hopefully this door will open. It does. Good. I would have hated to have looked like a fool and it not open. That would have been the worst thing. I'm just here doing quests. Hi, this is the Dutiful Sisters of Eloise, a house to keep uh, a deep reflection and meditation. So unless you have proper business of us, you can kindly bugger off. Package. What's this then? A parcel from the Bragarian Consortium, eh? Let's have a peek inside. Oh, well, not bread and ginger cookies. Yeah, a few of them Bismarck finger sandwiches too. Them Consortium culls know the right way to show appreciation. Some of them sisters have unholy appetites, so I'd best save a few bites for, mis uh, for myself before I take this inside. <clears throat> uh, you let Jess and him know we're always here, should a boss have need of us again. And then it gets locked. That quest is unable to be done at this time, you fool. Yep, and then Edelweiss, Edelweiss, we go back up. That is a swift part she should. Wow, that's a place I haven't gone before. Still want to go there for all the quests. Which we'll need to... From the top. Aye. You've delivered the packages I've requested, like, five years in the... After five years, yes. Very good. I shall pass the sister sentiments to my superiors. 
You're just marching in places. <laughs> what matter of services do the Dutiful Sisters provide? Continue your stay in Limbs and Lemons, and you'll likely find out soon enough. In fact, if you're confident in your abilities and comfortable with unconventional, you might wish to approach them yourself. Yeah, I should have done that quest five billion years ago. In that case, we'll take the lift back up. Head to the little town thingy last time. Kind of in the area of... Uh, uh, to the Drowning Witch, please. But yeah, basically that place where that adjoining Bibbidi Bop uh, showed that we came through. Down the way, there's a bunch of quests that we can do. And after we clear out that relatively, I'll probably end the stream. Feel that might be a good... Uh, a good, like, kind of swath of things. And plus just time and time and time and time. So, yeah, to lower. Noskia. Because there should be bunches of quests there. Alright. Let's see. I need to head that away. No, I'm being haunted by a dragoon. It's the worst nightmare ever. Seriously. Very interesting that this just plays a song. You'd think that people would be gathering here for that. And not just in the place place. No preference. I'll find my way, I'm sure. Oh. And my quest takes me here anyway. Works for me. And then a bridge to full and there's all of that. Yes. Also, we're doing a level 5 quest. I could kill that Mossless Gooboo if I wanted. Eh, I won't. Should instead focus on the... Should instead focus on the quests that I'm doing. No time for irrelevant fates. It is interesting that the fates exist. They're interesting. Just very interesting. Oh, and the fate is covering up my goddamn quest. Oh, dear. That's extra annoying. I do not want to level myself down to level four. I'm just here to go into the cave. I assume this. <sighs> Looks as if nobody's home. Mayhap they knew we were coming. Aid! I need aid! <sighs> Please, it's my grandson. Them snippers got him. I told Sigurd. Uh, yes, yeah, Sigurd. Sigurd, not to get too close. I told him! Get that weapon ready, Neon. We need to move now. Oh, that's a big boy. He's just standing there as if these guys are T-posing at him. Sure. Oh, cutscene time. Oh, pucker and shy, get away from me, you bloody great bastard! By standing in the way, I intimidate the crab. Be hilarious if you just repeated the same thing. Time to Final Fantasy.
Oh, it's already dead. My bad. I didn't expect it to die that quickly. Hilariously, I would be like directly level. Oh, they love doing that. Surprise. Lots of enemies. This is the second time that they're like, surprise, big enemy, big bunch, die. And just more of them. And, and, and Brawl Bar's here. Here I am taking care of the whippersnappers. I, he just came out of nowhere. Oh, more just keep coming. Lol. This is amusing to me. They just kill the big guys that quickly. I didn't expect to have reinforcements run in. Got room for one more? I didn't know we had room. Thank you, miss. I thought I was dead for sure. I can't even play outside no more. What have all these scary monsters about? My ma and my da, they both was killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago. An aurochs, big as a mountain. But I bet you could beat it. I make it pay for what it did to my folks. Yeah, take it easy now, son. There's a whole guild full of strapping lads and lasses like Neon here who'll, gladly, who'll be glad to do just that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. You let us worry about the big nasty bugger. Consider your first duty a success, Neon. It's time you headed back as well, before Wernzion begins to worry I've left your corpse for the crabs. I doubt he'd worry about it unless you have a habit of doing it. Your level is no longer synced. I wonder if that was ever a glitch. That would be an amusing, horrifying glitch. You're like playing the game and then your level was forever synced. God, that would actually be terrible. Because you're just... This is an MMO. What if you're like, oh sure, I'll do this like level 5 quest for a gaff. And then you're like level 80 job. Plummeted down. That is the one decent thing though, is that each job is individually leveled so it wouldn't just super cripple your character i mean more so than having any instance of your character being set back dozens of levels is already crippling dozrail captain dozrail stationed at oskin's embrace needs you to track down a guard who has abandoned his duties Eh, you'd be wanting to cross Uskin's Embrace if you ain't in a hurry to be someplace. I'd rather you hold off for a bell or two. Presently, the bridge is such a rot confusion of wagons and such that damn things like to collapse. We expect a bit of congestion, what with this being the only bridge connecting the roads from the dry docks to Limsa Laminza, but today's traffic is something awful. Speaking of which, what in the seven else does West Maga think he's playing at deserting his post at a time like this? Do me a favor, would you, lass? Track down the skittish bugger and tell him to get his ass back to being directing the chaos at the embrace. Time to kick his ass. Time to send him to the past. Is he in the well? That'd be amusing. But it was only a matter of time before he sent someone after me. I suppose I, I heard ye. The bridge is too a bloody mess. Truth be told, I wish the damn thing would collapse and save me the suffering. I can't simply wave my hands and have everything suddenly sort itself out. Now can I? And if I try a reasoner of those demon-spawned coachmen, I'm going to get my head bit off. Listen, if you're not going to let me down, you can at least have a word with them more irate wagon drivers, you know, soothe their temper some. There'll be one less headache to deal with. All right, let's see. Uh, social, emotes, soothe. I don't know what that uh, bibbidi bop was. That ding. 
All right, time to talk to irate wagon drivers. Soothe them with my cat girl wiles. Be hilarious if I could do it. Soothe. But no, it's just these guys. I soothe ye. Soothe ye. Perhaps you do have a point. I shall endeavor to keep a hold of my temper, if only to see the situation resolved before the moon turns. And got rid of my goddamn. So I have to search soothe again. Well, if you put it like that, then maybe I'll hold my tongue for a bit. I, I just find it amusing that the game is like, Hey! Use emotes! Every now and then, that amuses me. Hey, emotes are there. Why not use them for quests? Well, I'll be damned. You actually managed to calm them buggers down! You're a miracle worker, and that's the honest truth. All I need is for the drivers to heed my directions without all the snapping and snarling, you see. Well, I'd best be at it before they lose their tempers again. Oh, and I'd appreciate if you could let the captain, Doris, he'll know I'm back on the job. I did it. I saved the day with my cat girl, Wiles. Where's the mug is back at his post, is he? Your tongue must be made of silver to have accomplished that feat. Well, that is my preferred playstyle in most RPGs. He can't handle the yelling, you see. The gods only know how such a delicate flower survived guard training in the first place. And he's never going to survive duty at the bridge now that the work on the victory is a flooded delivery is coming in and out of the every bloody day. Where's the mug better harden up or start looking for a quieter line of work? Let's see. All classes. Critical hit. Copper ear cuffs. Hmm. Let me see my armory chest. Wait, wrong one. I should actually need to look at my character. Let's see. Copper earrings. Oh. Meh. Is there a way to just instantly compare easily? That would be nice. Because my earrings is strength, dexterity, vitality, intelligence, and mind. So definitely not getting that. Whereas bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. All right, bracelet is critical hit. That's it. So yeah, I guess I'll just go with the Olgan bronze piece. Let's see, sell <laughs> sells for three gil. Well, okay, bronze piece is more expensive, I suppose. I cleared the way. I. Did it. Me. Would be hilarious as if after you do that, the bridge falls and you fall into a place and have to fight out. So yeah, there's just lots of quests down this way. Not sure if the game has, like, uh, wanted me to come here yet, but I see quests here, and I want to do them. Mm -mm -mm, I want to do them. Though considering the average level of some of these things, maybe they won't let me in. That'd be amusing. Interesting music. Well, let's walk around for some quests. I'm here for quests. That I am. Well, I guess I can attune to it at least and try to use it maybe. Jesus Christ, there's just a ton of people here. Is 
This must be one of those impromptu parties. I can't see over the, the names, so I don't know if it is a party. Let's see. Naldik and Vimilla's veteran shipwright Mimidoa seek someone to travel to Oshkin's torch in his stead. What you say? Another initiate? And initiate, you say? Getting lots of initiates these days. Lots of initiates. What day you say it was? Now, I reckon there's initiates here looking for work. His work you seek, eh? Well, you need, you need not fret as I just happen to have a task what needs tending. A dear friend of mine, Rost and something or such, is holed up in the lighthouse in a sort of the grip. He used to be there. I'd visit the lad once a sinny, uh, tonight to see how he was faring, but my legs just ain't the same since the gout gone grabbed a hold of him. I'd be grateful if you could check up on the candle keep in my stead. Oh, and don't you forget to talk along four curved jackal fangs. Tell him the things from Mimbadoa. He'll understand. I barely understood you, and I was doing your voice. And then all of the chatter just disappeared. Like the rapture. Wah, 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 wah. Poor Wafafu's food cart is light on a few lunches, and she needs help locating the lost meals. Oh, woe is me. I seem to have gone and misplaced four of my packed lunches. Whatever am I to do, I can hear Abiturm's belly grumble from all the way over here. I'm certain I made enough for everyone, so it must be I either dropped a few or gave some to the wrong fellows. Oh, did you hear that? It was Aberthan's berry again. Berry? Mm. Belly again. He does not look all that pleased, does he? I must stay with my cart, but if you could search for the dry docks and see uh, if you cannot find those lunches, I would be eternally grateful. I might even whip up something special for you. Ah! Did you see that? Aberthan just gave me the evil eye. If those lunches don't turn up soon, I'm afraid he'll come over here and eat me! Maybe you deserve to be eaten. For you are but a light snack. Woof woof will be needing one of our lunches back, you say. Oh, damn it. I wouldn't have minded the extra meal, though. A man can work quite a craven when he's been pounding, stretching, and shaping sheets of iron all day. Thank you for being a sane human being. Even though you're not really... Uh, the you're a different race, species, but thank you for being a good person. Aren't we all human beings on the inside? Is it odd to say that I actually kind of enjoy these silly little quests? Please, have him be a jerk so I can push him off the ramparts. Ah, uh, don't tell me. You came to collect my lunch. I can see it in the accusing eyes of yours. Sure, I knew right well that none of these lunches was meant for me. What with today being my day off and all, I never thought little Wafufu would miss just one. If I give back the lunch, would you promise me you'll not mention that I was, uh, <laughs> that it was I who took it? I don't want to last to think I was trying to swindle her. Well, that's sort of what I was trying to do, but she doesn't have to know that now, does she? Right, then, carry on. Amusing thought process, but sure. This game is rather calming, you know? For some reason, because here's the funny thing. Before I started streaming, my brain just went heavy on, ah, and just like the depression was super smacking at my brain. But this has been rather calming and nice. I'm glad I went through with it. Please tell me you found the lunches. I swear, Abathurn has shifted several places closer since you departed. I wanted I, oh, I wanted to look and see if he did. That would have been hilarious if he actually had. Every time you pick one up or get one, he moves. One, two, three, four. You did it. You found all the missing lunches. Now perhaps I can rest in peace, knowing that Abathurn won't be indulging his cannibalistic fantasies. At least for today. My poor woman. His cannibalistic fantasies? So at least you had a good reason for fearing the dude. I got boots, not dudes. But still, that is utterly hilarious. <laughs> Indulging his cannibal. Who works these ships? 
Now, Deacon, for Mill, Shipwright has a kill, needs help of heating his rivets. When it comes to riveting, you could search the realm over, but you won't find none better than Hezekazel. Ten score rivets a bell I drive, twice that if I'm not in me cups. I'm going to assume you mean drunk. The key to driven rivets proper like is how hard ye can get the buggers. The hotter the rivet, the stronger the bond she'll make of the steel plate. You know, I never thought about it, but that does make, like, metalworking sense. Problem being, I was to heat me rivets in the forge. They'd be cold as a dead horse crotch by the time I hauled them back to the victory. Jesus Christ, that analogy. Tis why I use the white hot cores and lightning sprites. But as you can see, me supplies running a tad low. If it ain't too much trouble, would you be so kind to fetch me some? You look as if you could take a whole pack of sprites if one hand tied behind your arse. Kind of sad that it didn't recognize my species and changed it to be have one hand tied under your tail. Yolgi Hanalgi. Morabi Drydox Yardmaster Yolgi Hanalgi seeks someone to aid his crew in taking inventory. I'm looking for a strapping young adventurer. Could we, uh, good with your numbers to help tally our remaining supply of planks and logs? But I suppose you'll have to do. Now that work on the victory is nearing completion, I need one final count on the number on the lumber we have so I can determine if we need more. I already have resin, mislin, and rumio falle... Fal Fal Emo started on the tally, so to speak, with them and see what they found. Then bring me back the exact number of quarter deck logs and four castle planks remaining on site. All right. Just finished my count of the Sitter Mast, and the Yard Master ain't gonna lock what we'll have to tell him. What? You'll tell him for me? Well, be my guest in last. The Victory, being as big as she is, will be outfitted with three full masts, uh, full sized masts, and two smaller masts. Each mast. Blah, blah, blah. Same mast all this time is hurting me. Each mast will have its own set of four to five spares or cross masts from which the sails hang. One need to be solely. One need not be scholarly form from. Ugh. Excuse me. Ah, yeah. I don't know why. My brain... You are hurting my throat, young man. One need not be scholarly from Milvan's gate to know the whole... Uh, uh, that's a whole hell's worth of lumber. And so, just how many lo uh, mass-worthy logs do I count here? Four. Not four hundred. Not four score. Not even fourteen. One, two, three, four. And you can take that to the Yardmaster. And don't say I didn't warn ye. So... Four. Four, 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 four. <laughs> Not four score. Not even fourteen. Lalafells are odd little munchkin monsters, aren't they? I'm sure they won't mind me climbing over their merchandise. I am a cat. So four mast thingy logs. 200 oak birthing planks. Not one more, not one less. I counted them twice and then I counted them thrice more just for good measure. We may be in trouble, though, if them shipwrights need any more of what... Uh, uh, the fires of the Calamity claim most of the trees and old oak wood. And one of those that remained, you ask? Why, we chopped down the rest of the help build the victory. So four and 200. Four and 200. Four and two hundred. Also, that doesn't seem very ecological of you to yank down the LEDs after already being burnt away. I trust you had enough fingers to help you through the tallying, so tell me what did you find? And those be grim numbers indeed. The calamity may be just a fade in memory, but it seems we're still far from truly healing. As a salt blooded Laminzen, it pains me to say it. But we may have to turn to them tree folk in Gridania for to finish the victory on time. Hard leather harness. I'm going for hard leather harness because it is an upgrade. You can now accept new class job quest. Uh, disappeared. Class quest rewards. There are some actions which only can be learned by completing specific class quests. For example, the ranged lancer weapon skill piercing talent is acquired by completing the lancer's guild quest available at 15. So I guess that's just, hey, 
you can uh, do quest stuff now. No idea where I'd... Uh, I wonder if that means that I could do dis uh, disciplines. Now. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. But yeah. I'm just really liking this game. Really liking the feel of things. Chocobo Keep has a quest for me. You scare me. Well met, traveler. Might I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Ah, uh, do not tell me this is your first visit to this shop. Uh, this stop, I shall update my register of your name so that you may access the location in the future. Learn about Chocobo Porters. Not enough guild to pay the bloody Etherite teleportation fee, or perhaps you simply want to ride in peace and not having to worry about fumbling through your maps and, or dodgy, bloodthirsty beasts. Then a Chocobo Porter is exactly what you need. Our birds will carry you quickly and safely to one of the many convicted. Ah, so it's basically just quick travel, but okay, I don't care. It's not a mount, I don't care. I probably should... I thought it would be a good, fun thing. I thought I could get a chocobo. But no. No chocobo for bow. chocobo bo, -bo. I can't even get a frickin' chocobo, but that guy has a MOTORCYCLE! Yeah, I think I went the wrong way overall. Overall, overall. Definitely went the wrong way. Granted, that is the right way if I want to say it with flowers. I want a mound! He's just doing laps. I feel like they're mocking me. Alright, we need to get out, run around in constant carvings, nailed it, and then probably bibbidi ba run along to other places. Alright. Constant carvings. I need to kill some jackals. Ah, there's the jackals. The jickles and hoids. What the fuck? Level 50, what the fuck? Why are you here? That thing scares me. Provoke. I should probably should have read that. Just for threatening and placing yourself at the top of a target's enemy list. Okay, just more enmity. I'm just scared to get close to that fucking thing. I don't want to provoke it. Seriously, it's a level 50. What is it doing here? It's horrifying. But that is just such a cool, like, interactive feature, too. Like, some attacks will be like that. Alrighty then. Alright. Good thing I didn't uh, go over that way. So I didn't, I was going to need to go there anyway. Now let me guess. Slay and obtain some lightning cores. They look freaky. I like it.
fight me. I'm not scared of you, I said fight me. Give me your lightning core. Give me your lightning core. Seriously, imagine if the real world was like this. Somebody's just like, I need this thing. Go kill some things to give me the thing. Use your free damage buttons. They're free damage. Always remember the free damage. Wow, well, Shnikey wants to die. And you know what? I think I'll go ahead and head down there to get that quest, just in case. Because why not? We can go there, probably loop there, head back, something like that. That's a... Oh, that's a... I WANT MOUNT! <laughs> like, that's the one thing that, when you play an MMO, it'll constantly haunt you. The ever want of mounts. Everyone wants mounts. So let me guess, this isn't yeah, a pass that I need to pass through. Are these things that I need to fear? No, nah, they're just megala crabs. They're not even that. T they're not even like attacky, attacky. All right, what is your quest? An adventure, are you? Well, I'll have you see that man over there, the big one, the captain of the shipping vessel out uh, of Radzathan, found him stowed away below decks. When the captain moored here at the quay, he, we brought the brute ashore for questioning. When he up and started assailing my men, and for a man who has been holed up in a dark corner for the past fortnight, he has more energy than you'd believe. We would certainly use a hand in calming him down. Sure. Oh, there he is. He just ran away, jerk. Yeah, fight me. I ain't no stowaway. Yes, you are, sir. Fate complete. Achievement. Date with destiny. And that was just it. That was the fate. Melvin's gate field assessor, uh, Azuman, is seeking help to exterminate an unknown past. Excuse me, adventurer. Might I have a moment of your time? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Azuman, a field assessor of, at for Milven's Gate. My work of the Custom House involves the investigation of claims made regarding the unlawful import of restricted items from foreign shores. Recently, there have been a number of petitions made by the residents of Candle Keep K concerning a species not native to Vilbrand. If this species is indeed alien to this island, it must be located and destroyed immediately before it is allowed to reproduce and possibly disturb natural balance found here amongst the nature area's fauna. I would ask that you take this lump of fetid dodo flesh and place it upon the mounds of soil f <clears throat> excuse me, thought to be the nest of the invasive species. The odor should draw forth whatever creature lurks beneath, leaving them easy targets. Well, off I go. Forgot that I got that. Time to murder. Time to murder everyone who gets in my way. That is my job. Murder. Suspicious mound. Time to destroy. Use the fetid dodo flesh. Who would bring this? Oh, 
Oh, more came. Be gone, Mightling. You are not mightful at all. You are Bing Bong. It never ends. Die, Thavarian Might. M. Are you done? I thought I would have to do all of them. I'm almost disappointed. Ever so slightly disappointed that I couldn't kill them all. Well, technically I killed them all, but I didn't kill them all. Kill them all. Killing them all is hunting them down one by one. Not just doing it all in one go. Where's the artistry? Thavnerian mites! We've collected eggs from cargo-carried ships hailing from Rod Satan before, but always in Limsa Laminza. There are no records of ships traveling to or from the tiny island nation making stops here in Candlekeep K, nor would they ever need to, unless the mites did not come from a ship that laid anchor here, but from a different vessel, one with more heinous motives. I believe this will require further investigation. I thank you again for assistance. Perhaps I may require your services again in the near future. Now I need to find my way up to the lighthouse. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool. I think it's supposed to be big and off in the distance, but it looks small and close. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way to the lightning house. I still wonder if, like, is the dungeon going to be story relevant to any quest line? Because I kind of want to do a dungeon. Not now, obviously, because we're going to be ending soon. Once I just wrap up all these here quests. You know, the, uh, I did not realize just how stripperific this top was. It was just like, ooh, stats! And then I did. It can get right lonesome up here. All alone with naught but the wind's chill to keep a man company. Some days I carve jackal fangs to help clear my head of the voices. The voices calling me back to the great blue. Carve away, then. What's this? Mimidor Sindia did he? Well, tell ye the... Well, ye tell that old man that he needn't waste his few last sons in this lay realm worrying about poor Rosnes. I'll carry on as I always have, in the service of the sailors, alone till the day I die. Well, that's dark. Ross Nazaire yearns to profess his love to a certain special someone and requires your help to do so. The sea? Whilst the carvings help keep me head clear, a bit of company would ease the solitude. Truth is, with each turn of the sun, I creep ever closer to the brink of madness. All day and all night, I dream of someone who might rescue me from this prison. Someone broad and hale, with skin the color of the sea, and eyes would suck you in like a maelstrom. Someone like Gimthota. I have been enchanted by her sweet magic since I first saw her, a young lass from the Morabi Dorydox on patrol of the God's Grip. She smiled at me, but I was too et up inside by fear to meet her gaze. And now, since her promotion to head watch, she can't be bothered to make the climb. I would tell her how it is I feel, but me duty to the sailors. Wait, might be you could tell her for me. I'd make it worth your while. You could take her a nice Lanossian lily bell. You think she'd like that? Aye, I reckon she'd like that. I ain't met a woman that didn't like flowers. And here my plan to just swoop on in is over. My plan has been altered. By a lighthouse man. Don't get eaten by bugs. Like that one lighthouse in Skyrim. 
I wish I had a mount. Is it still bloody raining? Like, not even, not in game, but like, here. We have been rain, 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 rain all the time lately. <laughs> lately. I don't want to join a fate. I don't want to join a fate, father. Oh. Well, this is quite unfortunate. Oh, I killed it. Yay. Be gone, flower. All right, I think I got the flower. Ah, perfect. Now I can head right in. Hmm, is a biggin. I wonder what level it is. Probably too high for me to take alone, and there doesn't seem to be anybody else out here. Ah, fine, I'll kill the ruffled dodo. Get back here. I'm here to kill you. For this one mission. I thought you were gonna be, uh, nastier. Whoop! Okay, now I, I know why you people want you dead now. Because you are abominations. Worthy of death. Be gone, Dodo. I'm glad that you're sacrificed into the ether of doom in the real world now. Be gone, Satan. Shall annihilate you. Annihilate your very soul. Kill all the dodos. Save the drinking water. Maybe I need to kill the jackals now. Save the water. Ta-da. And what about you? Padfoot. Sure, I'll kill you too. Now you're alone, Padfoot. All alone. Whoop. It's possible that this one might be my end. But I did stun him. Worst comes to worst, I could down a potion. Whoop. 
Get stunned, boy. Will he kill me or will I kill him? I do not know. He is doing more damage than most any other abomination has. But I do have potions. If it really comes down to it. I just see an enemy. I'm like, eh, I guess I could go kill it. I'd like to know how much health you have as a boss. And I don't even have a healer. I've been fighting this thing day in and day out. And this other one hasn't bothered to get in on the action. Beat him up. Did that for just a bit of safety. Ah, that's the wrong button. Don't really need enmity right now. I beat the big man. That's all that matters. I wonder if there's a bonus if you stun an enemy before they can do their big, biggie, flashy, flash attack that has warning. Booyah. We'll just turn in these quests, gather any quests that come, and that will be it for now. I really should have returned to Final Fantasy XIV much sooner than I did here. I guess, nope, this is uh, the wrong way. Absolutely the wrong way. The right way is down this way. Considering things, I probably should have it zoomed in just a tad bit more, more often than not. Well, let's see if she'll spurn his advances with a flower. A gift for me from the candlekeep at Oskin's Torch, but I don't recall ever meeting anyone. You smiled at him once. In fantasy, that means it's real love. Ah, Lanassian Lilybell. Yes, it's coming back to me now. Rostnaze, I believe his name was. I remember specifically commenting on how I despised my patrols with the God's Grip for the areas full of Lanusky and Lily Bells, and the terrible weeds always send me into sneezing fits. So she wasn't smiling, she was sneezing. Lol. While I am uh, flattered, I'm afraid I cannot return the gesture. As head watch of the Moribay Dry Docks, it is my responsibility to see that the peace is kept until the victory is Christianing. I simply haven't the time to pay would-be suitors any mind, no matter how des uh, desperate they may be. Though, perhaps once the ship is complete, I could consider a climb up the peninsula. Perhaps. Hilarious that she took the... Retrie <laughs> being given a weed that she is allergic to rather well. Amusing. Eh, where do you crawl from, crawl in from? I don't recall sending no nishitze, eh? neon icy wings. I once knew a last named Neon back when I served on the Cloud Dancer. Really? She was a bonksome young lass of eyes as big and round as an ogre pumpkins. He ain't her, though. Nose ain't required right. And who are you again? Ah, got something to tell me, has ye? Ross Nizé? Eh? What's that mumbly milk shop whining about this time? No, let me guess. That he's lonely. Bah! Put a pair of warm women in his arms and another on his lap and he'll be right as rain. 
Is what I do to help me forget what ails me. Not that old Mimidoya needs much help with forgetting, mind ye. Might be all at all that all I send him a few saucy strumpets is coming, Eve. These are real characters here. And we'll give him his lightning calls. I think that might actually be it for the area. Interesting. It is just a small part of an area. Three quarters and I can be done with the day's work and back at the alehouse where I belong. Well, here's three cores that I murdered. Right out of them. Leviathan's eye! You really done gone and fetched me the blinking cores! Athbiran will be right pleased to see that he will. It was the foreman which came up with the idea to use cores to heat the rivets. A clever one, that man. Sharper than a fang in a fishback's beak. Probably is why he made chief so quick-like. Altered bandana. I'll take the altered bandana. I have a new hat. After all these years. New hat. Fits the set, at least. And that, at least, is it for this area. And with that, it shall be it for now. Yeah, I really enjoyed coming back to trying this here game some more. Recommended duties. Recommendations list displays quests or duties currently available in your area. Highlighting an item in the list will fur display further information regarding the duty. Recommendations are helpful for finding quick gill and experience or simply confirming if there is any quests or hunting logs target in the area you might have missed. So that's hunting, that's hunting, and then all the others are... Wow, there are no... <laughs> there is none in this area. Hilarious. Very interesting. But yeah, I'm glad that I returned to this game. And I'll definitely uh, probably slot in a weekly day to play this game some. I'll have to decide on which one. It might vary week to week which day it is, but I'll still try to nail down an actual schedule and stick to it. My bloody, bloody head, bloody be damned, because, yeah, my my brain is evil. My brain is like, ah, how dare you, like, like things? How dare you think? Yeah, my brain is very vile sometimes, like, when it comes to streaming it's like uh, how dare you stream it's a waste of time but slowly but surely i just need to like branch out maybe make tiktoks and youtube shorts put effort into things blickety blick but yes thank you very much for watching if you want more from me i have a youtube channel where all of these eventually end up though i am thinking of maybe trying some streams on youtube i'll probably do that on an off day well where my main three days are still on twitch and then try out some streaming on youtube see how it goes who knows twitch is wonky anyway sometimes but yeah i have a youtube archive channel neon icy games where all these streams eventually end up as vods and already on there are like uh Digimon Survive, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, and Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 are already up on there. And uh, if you want to watch me play these games live, you there are people already watching these archives, you can watch me play them on Twitch slash well, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Brain got ahead of itself because it's trying to sabotage me again. But... As a po uh, elsewise, if you want more, like my little art in the corner, I couldn't change uh, expressions because numlock doesn't work, it seems. But if you want more art, like my little character in the corner, you can see them posted to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. 
And I do believe that's it. I guess I'll probably make a bloody TikTok and post TikToks to maybe as a throw out there. Ah, maybe Grove. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.